Good morning and welcome to prayer this Tuesday morning, our prayer at breakfast. One thing that happens during a pandemic is that you are not as active usually, engaged with people, running about, driving, the mad hubbub of life, and that you're confined to quarters more. And one of the things that happens spiritually when you're either socially isolated or on your own or have less distraction of activity and work and social life and busyness is that what is inside comes becomes conscious and people find that they are dealing with their own demons, to use the word, that past hurts and awfulness or anxieties that have been pushed back for work or addictions that were latent emerge or whatever uh, and it can be an extremely challenging time for people spiritually as their inner self rises and cannot be dispensed with easily because we have less to do and there's a quietude in our lives around us so that addressing the demons within us psycholo psychologists would say different terms about unaddressed issues but in scripture it's always described as the demons rising within us um, and actually it's a very important time spiritually to see as these thoughts anxieties worries addictions obsessions hurts or issues arise within us is to bring them to Christ and to bring them in prayer daily and to actually bring the grace of God to speak to that situation, that thought, that anxiety, whatever, that issue in one's life. It's a long introduction, but the gospel needs a bit of it today. A reading from Mark. Mark chapter 1, beginning to read at verse 21. Jesus and his disciples went to Capernaum. And when the Sabbath came, he entered the synagogue and taught. They were astounded at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Just then, there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, what have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent, come out of him. And the unclean spirit, throwing him into convulsions and crying with a loud voice, came out of him. And they were amazed. And they kept on asking one another, Who is this? A new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. At once his fa fame began to spread throughout the surrounding region of Galilee. This is the word of the Lord. Lord, in this scripture you obviously are healing epilepsy. But the message for us is not just the healing of that unnamed individual, but the healing of all that convulses us and that rises during this time of trial and takes hold of us. And we pray that your grace will come to us this day, giving us wisdom and freeing us from that which internally convulses and imprisons us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We bring to you all that is in our past that rises now to flash before us, disturbing, making us feel bad about ourselves, about others, about life and you. We ask you for the healing of memories, the healing of betrayal, the healing of hurt and the healing of failure within our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You reached into the tormented of others and there brought calm and resolution. We pray for all this day who are agitated and upset, who can't settle and don't know why, that you will bring calm in that storm within. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You forgave sins always. Let your grace help us to forgive ourselves 
in the knowledge that you have forgiven us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You too were tempted in the desert and you too had to face your own demons. But in each instance, your reliance on God brought you resolution and peace. We pray for all this day who find themselves tempted with that which is not of you. <coughs> Lord, direct and guide us in our thoughts, words, actions and lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the young in our lives. The young who feel very lost and abandoned, cheated of their future and of their social network. We pray for all who this day will do all their learning on Zoom and the internet. And pray especially for those whose educational advancement will just slip away because of this through poverty or lack of resources. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick of body, of mind, of spirit, those awaiting results, undergoing treatment, those in physical pain because of deferred surgeries, those who are profoundly ill, into that maelstrom of distress. Bring your blessing and courage. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our hospitals and all frontline workers. Keep them safe and bless and guard them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And may the God of peace come to you this day, calming your spirit, strengthening your mind, stilling your distress and giving you strength and peace. In the name of God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen.